Alfredo nachos. Have y'all ever heard of it? Yummy, delicious. So we have jumbo, no, no, that's colossal shrimp and crab with an Alfredo sauce on top of some homemade chips. Yummy, delicious. And we have jalapenos. And we are eating on the side some fresh cucumber from my garden. And we are drinking mango tangerine flavor water. Who is ready for this motherfucking mukbang? What's up, Yummy Vice? Welcome back to another episode of Yummy Vice TV. Y'all already see it? Y'all let me know in the comments, have y'all ever heard of seafood Alfredo nachos, okay? We are drinking mango tangerine flavored water today. Uh-huh, yes, y'all. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. Who is ready, y'all? Let's pray. Amen. Who is ready for this mother flipping mukbang? Seafood Alfredo nachos, baby. Let me know if you've ever heard of them. Oh, just a little bit. <laughs> we got um, jumbo, no, colossal shrimp and crab. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm! With an Alfredo sauce. It's so good. Mmm. Mmm-hmm. Happy Taco Tuesday, girl. Oh. Mm-mm. Delicious. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. This is too good. Look at how delicious. Oh my God. Did I already say Happy Taco Tuesday? <laughs> Girl! Mm, mm, mm. 
Why I never thought of this before? I don't even know what made me think of this. <clears throat> Yeah, I've had that song in my head. And now I don't know who sang it. I don't know the words. <laughs> I just know that melody, boy. Mmm. Yeah, this is so good. I honestly don't know what to say. Mmm. 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 This is the one, y'all. And not the two. <laughs> this is the one thing. Oh my God. Delicious. Y'all let me know what y'all eating for Taco Tuesday. Who having tacos? <laughs> I didn't even want tacos today. Can y'all freaking believe it? Didn't even want them. <clears throat> I wanted this girl. And I actually could have had any kind of nachos. But I was like, when I thought of this, I was like, oh, I've never done that before. Let's do that. Mm. Y'all, I don't know how I'm going to eat all of these cucumbers. <laughs> like, my cucumbers are so big. It's insane. And I went and picked me one today. A nice huge one, but it wasn't, like, the biggest one that I have. The biggest one I have is still hanging out there, y'all. I got this one because it was hanging low to the ground. And I didn't want it to end up growing so much to where it was touching the ground, so I just went ahead and cut it. Mmm. <clears throat> Dodge crab and shrimp with this alfredo sauce is banging. Don't slam it. And she slams it anyway. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Girl, I'm getting full. Guess what I've been seeing a lot of my timeline today? The carnivore diet. 
let me know in the comments has anybody ever done the carnivore diet you know like all you can eat is like meat and like like a lot of protein i believe in veggies and that's it and butter or something like that y'all like I was like, if I try to do that, my my people will get so bored of the food. Like, it's like the same thing all the time. Like, at least I'll be switching it up. But it's literally, people have been eating butter, and they'll eat like the stick. Not melted or anything. They eat butter, steak, and eggs. I'm like, and I don't believe that they can have any fruit. Or can they? Let me know in the comments. Let me know if you've ever done it. But I was like, I wonder if I could do that. Like, kind of like a challenge to myself. But then I thought about it and I was like, probably not. Like, yeah, I got to think about my peeps, okay? I don't think y'all would enjoy that. But y'all probably will enjoy, like, the challenge of it, you know? Mm. Mm. Y'all, two of my nails came off today. No, one of them came off yesterday and another one came off today. <clears throat> I glued them back on though, but these probably need to go. I actually got some new ones in, y'all, but they're so freaking long. This company sent them to me. They are so long. I wouldn't be able to function in them, but they are beautiful. Beautiful. I'm supposed to be doing a video on them today. Mmm. So whenever I do put them on, it's just going to be for a video because they're not functional for my life, but they're cute for like the camera, you know what I mean? Like if you want to take pictures with them or whatever, you know. Let me taste my cucumber, y'all. Because mm -hmm. I still haven't tasted this one yet. Mmm. It smells good. Perfection. It's so good. Oh my god. Mmm. Without seasoning, without a dip. I love to taste them nice and fresh. You know what I mean? Mmm. Mmm. My cucumbers have way more seeds than cucumbers like from the grocery store. I noticed that. Way more seeds, y'all. And they're kind of big, but of course they're edible. Mm-hmm. Delicious. Y'all, I got something. A piece of hair. Where, where is it coming from now? Don't you hate it when that happens? You, like, I literally have a piece of hair from somewhere. Oh, there. Okay. <clears throat> That's so annoying. Y'all, I literally found this wig. I had worn it in so long. I'm like, girl, if I only knew I had this wig. <laughs> because I cut the layers on this wig right, right? On the ones that I've been wearing, I had, like, it's uneven. I didn't cut it right. But I found this one today. I was like, yes, finally. Mmm. But I had it. Mmm. -hmm. Mmm. That's so refreshing. Here, y'all. I'm doing my video early today. 
I literally was supposed to do it way earlier than this, but <clears throat> I didn't know this was going to take as long as it did to freaking cook. Oh, look at that. Mmm. Their outfit was okay, y'all. I was still working, girl, because this is just that season and that time. Um, I was in my freaking garden. Doing some stuff that needed to be done in my garden, too. Mmm. Mmm. Girl, I am. <laughs> I'm there. <laughs> mm. So, did y'all hear about the Nara Smith drama? Girl, Nara and Honey. Oh, and Betty's was not good. So I'm really, honestly, not even going to talk about it. It was not. And y'all know it's another, um, a new season of uh, Love Island right now. Yeah! Okay. Um, hold on. I want to get this other lady's name correct. Because I subscribe to her, honey. Um, Onezwa. Onezwa. So, I don't know who figured out that Nara, allegedly, was still... Oh, no, 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 no. She made a video. Anezwa, the lady whose um, uh, content Nara is stealing, okay? She made a video saying um, that she wishes that Nara would stop. She literally was going to stop posting because Nara kept copying off of her uh, videos, doing every video, all the recipes, and never... The problem is, is that Nara, allegedly y'all, didn't shout her out because she was obviously inspired by her content, y'all. If you look at the over the pages, every video that Nara did, she had already done, Okay. And some of the videos, she she recorded them the same way, same exact recipe. It's like, you know what I'm saying? You don't have to shout her out every video, but let make sure people know, you know, that you were inspired by her. You know, that's where all of your content is coming. All of your ideas that you're making all of these thousands of dollars off of. And mind you, y'all, um, Onezwa is in the part of the country where she can't get paid. For her TikTok videos, okay? She can't get paid. Somebody is uh, being inspired off of her content, but they're getting paid. And not even shouting her out. D does that sound right to y'all? Because it don't sound right to me. I'm sorry. <laughs> mm -mm. That don't sound right. People are trying to say that oh, Nesbo is jealous of Nara. What? She's the one creating all the content. She just want Nara to acknowledge the fact that she was inspired by her. <clears throat> but Nara hadn't done that. Nara be acting like all of those are her recipes. Because I watch Nara. <clears throat> I watch her. Everybody loves Nara. Um, and how um, Onesla knows Nara's been watching this because she left a comment under her, one of her videos saying, um, something like, something like, I, I don't understand why you get all this hate. Your videos are so inspiring. 
because Nara made a statement saying that she, um, she didn't, I think she said she didn't know who Anesba was. She doesn't follow her. And, um, it's a lot of people that make whatever recipe she was referring to. It's a lot of people that made that. Yeah, a lot of people do make it, but the way you made yours, like, it's just like, girl, just admit that you was inspired by the girl. Like, it is not hard to do that. It's not hard to admit that you've been inspired by somebody. But you letting this woman get all of this hate, and I know that she's seen all this hate on the TikTok app. You letting her get all that, and all you have to do is say something, and it could all be shut down. You know, this poor lady. And y'all should have seen, I'm going to let y'all hear the video that she uh, made a Neswa, um in reaction to what Nara had um, said, right? It was the classiest read I think I have ever heard, like literally. And and let me tell y'all know that calming voice that um, Nara has? Somebody put up a video of when she used to make videos, but she wasn't talking like that. She was not talking. And mind you, Anezwa, that's how she talks naturally. She talks with a very calm voice, just like this. I'm going to let y'all hear. Um, and it's just so obvious that Nara took inspiration from the way she talks and the girl's recipes. Like, she just done took over. Just That's my opinion. Now, if y'all seen something else, let me know. Like... You know, and don't get mad at me because we don't have the same opinion. Because I, I think that Nara was inspired by this lady. She was. Period. The lady, South African, she, and it's funny because Nara, she lives this really privileged life. And she's been telling us the reason why she does uh, stuff from scratch is because she has a skin condition. And that still might be why. But this lady, the reason she does her um, food from scratch is because that's how she has to make her food. She lives on a farm. Okay? So, she does everything from scratch, y'all. She grows all of her food, almost all of it. Chickens and everything, y'all. She be making chicken and she'll, like, break it down and just from fresh. Okay? And... It's just a big thing. Some people are on Nara's side and some people are on on Nezwa's side. I know a lot of people went over to Nezwa's uh, page and they're following her now, watching all of her videos. Y'all have seen how her account just went up. I'm like, dang, girl. I don't know you wish she was getting paid. Because, honey, TikTok needs to do something about that. Why can't these people get paid in Africa? Why? What's the what's the problem? Girl, I am full. Hey, this is so good though. But anyway, I want to know y'all's opinion. I know some people probably gonna say, but that's not my business. Well, okay, that's fine. For the people who think it's their business. Please, <laughs> answer in the comments and let me know what you think. Because there is a possibility that Nara didn't copy off the girl. It's a possibility, but... I was like, wow. She even sounds like her. <laughs> like, wow. Mmm. I just couldn't believe it. I'm like, oh my gosh, that's where she got the voice from. And that's messed up when you get so inspired by somebody to where you take on their voice. Like, girl. And then she was going to stop what she loved doing. And that's cooking and creating content. She was going to stop doing it, y'all. <laughs> She was going to stop doing it just because she felt like Nara was stealing all her work. 
That's so messed up. Y'all can't. <laughs> I'm so full. I feel like I'm about to burst wide open. But I can't eat these though. <laughs> um, but listen to this. And listen very carefully because she has an accent. So, um, and let me read y'all her caption. What she said. She said, I don't participate in likability politics. <laughs> I'm like, okay. Listen. Listen to them. I would love to say. Oh, shoot. Listen. Hold up. Which simply translates to you're not money, not everyone is going to like you. And so, likability has never been something I yearned for. If I wanted to be liked, I would have been less outspoken about the things I believe in. I would have kept my opinions to myself, held my tongue, and chosen neutrality in my political beliefs, all in order to be liked and more palatable. And even then, someone would have hated the way I hold my knife or that my wooden spoons are stained because you never win the likability politics. I may be all these things, but I'm not a liar. And fortunately, your feelings about me do not alter the truth. I do not mince my words. If I said it, trust me, I will stand by it. Nurse Smith was making kale salads with lemon juice and olive oil before she started stealing content ideas from small content creators. Now, I know she's not slow, and she intentionally misconstrued what I said with a comment about not being the first to make boba because she knew you would run with it and gallop you did to come and tell me I'm not the first to do anything after I said that seven million times in that same video. She did say that. I understand that some of you may be victims of Angel's education system and some of you were the children who were so actually so left behind. So did. listening to understand might be a challenge. I can sympathize with that. Pattern and recipe may sound the same to you. Nara, it is very apparent that you're not the first person to make boba. Because I think the first person who made boba tea to drink through a straw made sure that the boba could actually fit through the straw. You don't need to tell us that. And for you all asking if I credit everybody, if you find a pattern of me stealing ideas, feel free to call me out. Because I know very well I have a great track record of mentioning people who inspire my cooking. And I do use my little platform to bring attention to other creators who I feel deserve to have their talents celebrated. Over the past two days, I've taken the time to remind myself why it was that I started creating content. I wanted to document my journey of recreating meals my mother cooked for me. It was a hobby, an outlet, and that is the reason I was so reluctant to monetize it. I wasn't collaborating with brands, I wasn't tagging or reaching out to them because I knew if I did, I would lose all the joy I found in this. I'm disappointed in myself that I lost sight of why I started this and that I thought someone could take it away from me. So two things are going to happen. One, I'm going to keep creating the videos of these meals you've all told me look unappetizing and you do them in your sleep. And two, Nara Smith is going to stop stealing content ideas. A win-win. And to the South Africans who have continuously undermined and disrespected me throughout this whole thing, your classism hasn't gone unnoticed. I hope my videos remind you that your reality is closer to mine than it is to this American dream you're gallantly fighting for. My aunt loves to say, Are you my lips? So Did not hear that? Read! Girl, it was so classy. I was like, and then she did she. You know, I'm just, like, most people, like, have passion in their voice, and, you know, she's just talking just like this. I know, Nara, I know you're not slow. <laughs> when she said that, I was like, girl! So, anyway, <laughs> y'all go follow uh, Inez. Let me show y'all. Her TikTok name. It's right there. Aneswa Mbola. Is that what it is? Yeah, Mbola. Um, 
Yeah. So. <laughs> oh my God. And apparently, Nara is allegedly stealing content from more than just her. Girl. Wow, skirts. So, yeah, that's the big thing. That and the e cane thing is still going on. Oh, my God. People are really working my nerves with the e cane thing, making these videos, um, trying their best to get her counsel, y'all. It's so funny. Like, when you have to put a lot of your energy into trying to get somebody canceled, you need to stop. Stop. Like, it's consuming your life. Like, stop it. Like, is it that serious for you? Girl, it's just not even that serious at all. People are like, I'm gonna block this account, block that account, and I'm gonna do this, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna report this. And I'm, I'm... Chill out. Like, if it's meant for her to get banned, or not banned, but um, canceled, well then, it's gonna happen. Like, you don't have to try your best to make it happen. Like, it's so ridiculous. Just don't engage. Don't engage. And, like, you ain't got to make a video saying that you're not going to do this and you're not going to, like... Oh, my God. I guess it's just the kids because grown folks, girl, we have better things to be doing. You know? Way better things to be doing. Y'all... Angel Reese team and Kaylin Clark team, they played again, y'all, and Kaylin Clark and team won. I'm like, oh, my God. But I heard that it was like a hard, like, fought game. I didn't watch the whole – I didn't watch any of it. Mm. But, like, I saw highlights and stuff like that. But um, I'm trying to figure out why they can win all these other games, but they can't win that game. I don't understand. I really don't, because I was rooting. Rooting for them. Mm. Anyway, okay. So, girl, did y'all hear about Nicki Minaj and her husband? Allegedly, um, listen to what she said in her concert, okay? This is why everybody is feeling like, because I guess her... Her um, fans knew that there was something wrong with um, Nikki and, you know, her relationship or whatever um, because of the lives that she's been doing, like crashing out or whatever. Um, you know, Nikki, I seen this one clip of Nikki. She looked like she was on something, y'all. Like, I mean, something heavy. And, you know, she was just like... I'm talking about with the birth of her baby and it just I don't know why it just it was very strange anyway and she's she was probably going through it at that time you know what I'm saying because I'm pretty sure she put all of her trust into this man you know everybody else knew that it was the wrong choice but you know she thought it was because she you know grew up with him or whatever um but listen to what she said in one of her concerts. Nicki Minaj announced that she was single. I'd rather be not with some person in my face all day, but having a secret life and a sneaky life behind my back. Having a sneaky life behind her freaking back, y'all. So he must have been cheating, allegedly. He must have been cheating. Like, y'all, let me tell y'all something. Is that not strange? Is that not freaking strange? If you had a man that was rich, <laughs> like, in the world, why would you cheat? Like, why? Why did this man cheat on Nicki Minaj? Why? Why? You know what? I was thinking maybe because he always feels like he's in the background. No, I'm not making no excuse. But 
Maybe he wanted to feel like he was in control of something because he's not in control of nothing in that relationship he got with uh, Nicki Minaj. Like, it, it honestly, and I know this is probably not what it is, but it just, honestly, it feels like, it seems like he's the babysitter. Like, he's the one. And I know that's his baby, but it just seems like that is his role. You know, because, of course, Nicki got to work and get all the money. You know, and he's probably, he probably wasn't used to that before he got with Nicki Minaj. He was probably used, he, he was probably uh, used to being the one to, the like, the breadwinner um, and stuff. And, I don't know, it seemed like he got that syndrome, if you know what I mean. Okay? He seemed like he got that syndrome. <laughs> Just from when I had seen, I think it was, Nicki was somewhere... I think uh, in Trinidad, some uh, at, and she was like making an appearance or something like that. Anyway, one of the hosts of whatever this was that they was having, um, kind of, like tried to like put his hand on Nikki's shoulder or something like that, and her husband got all mad, you know, trying to take his hands off of Nick. Like you could tell he got that syndrome, <laughs> but. I think that that's what Nikki had wanted. Like, she wanted somebody, a take charge type of guy, you know? But you you just can't have that in her world, you know? You can't be the take charge guy because Nikki is the take charge woman in the relationship. She's, she's the one. She's controlling it, really. You know, whoever makes the most money is controlling it, period. That's how I feel. <laughs> Um, yeah, a lot of people called it already and said that it wasn't going to be long. But I hope that they're able to work it out, you know? They have a family. And I'm pretty sure she wants to be, you know, together with her family. Unless she's done with him, she might be done with him, y'all. She may just be done with him. Um, okay. What else, y'all? Did y'all see that ride that got stuck in the air with all them people upside down? Y'all, I couldn't believe it. I'm, not, I'm so glad I didn't go on any freaking rides when we had uh went on our vacation. Y'all, stuck in the air upside down. Like, can you imagine that? Like, all of your blood running to your head freaking head and like I know that hurts it has to hurt and I don't know how long they was up there y'all look at this God I mean at least they strapped in there but God can you imagine being upside down for a long time? And this was in... Oh, Y'all, this was an eighth grade field trip! Where was this, though? I don't even know. Oak Park in... Is that Portland? Hold up. Portland, Oregon, y'all. It was an eighth grade field trip. Oh my goodness. I wonder if they gonna sue. Cause that is dangerous, honey. Dangerous. Y'all. Y'all remember the lady who gave away her five kids to CPS? Remember how she was saying she had a plan and all of that. And it, we everybody was just dumbfounded as to why she was giving up all five of her kids to CPS, y'all. Allegedly, this lady is in court right now. Allegedly, for unaliving her second uh, baby dad. Okay? 
mom, the, the guy's mom is on Facebook. She made a big, um, she made a post. And, uh, but yeah, she, they said at, at the time when that lady put the post up, I believe that she was in court that day, y'all. Um, so basically people are thinking that she gave the kids up because she knew that she was in trouble and that she was going to have to go to trial for this alleged unaliving, which, and then I don't understand also because like, if she, if they charged her with something like that, why is she not in jail? Why is she roaming free? Like, what's going on with that? So, I'm saying allegedly, y'all, but I was thinking that um, she was trying to, you know, get somewhere for her kids to go in a hurry because she know that she might go to jail. What do y'all think? I think that's what it is, girl. But anyway, I took a screenshot of that post. Where is it? Here it go. Right here. And it's all alleged, y'all. Um. Okay. Uh, Alexis Danielle Wright, January 4th. Uh, and continue the continue, Columbus Division of Police and continue the threats leading up to her uh, unaliving of Alex uh, Christopher Lawson Cobb. That's the second baby daddy's whole name as seen by her children and resulting in his unaliving in ICU on March 13, 2020 in a present campaigned campaign staged to make money. And after practice runs of social media, she took her children to Franklin um, County Child Protective Services um, wanting to give them away. Uh, it happened in your jurisdiction before putting my son's body back in his car, staging his body, and putting his body back into his car where it was parked in CPD jurisdiction. Alexis Wright, allegedly, y'all, uh, went on a campaign to slander every father of her children to seem believable, with my son being her prime target as helped by and equally monetizing D. Jones of Neek at Night. Neek at Night? <gasps> Whom I am addressing legally? Neek at Night? Oh my God. Y'all remember Neek at Night, huh? I haven't watched her in a couple of years. She must have talked about it on her channel. Whom I'm addressing legally. Um, they interrupted my work of a private affidavit of a criminal complaint citing that I needed a social media platform to make a call for action and encouraged me on their numerous calls on Mother's Day to do so. However, it was a setup to defame us. I even have a screenshot shot of their talking together on video violation and cease of cease and desist i issued by several modes on may 14th anyway she's claiming that this young lady um unalived her son i don't know how those details haven't come out yet at least i haven't seen them um so i I don't know what is going on. If y'all know more than me, let me know in the comments. But, yeah. So, apparently, that's what she was getting prepared for. So, she, you know, could make sure she had somebody to keep her kids. Just in case she was going to have to go away. Oh, girl. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Um, then everybody is talking about the play that Angel Reese made against, um, Caitlin Clark. Y'all, they are acting like Angel Reese tried to put Caitlin in the hospital. I am so sick of people talking about how rough people are being with Caitlin freaking Clark. Caitlin needs to get in the gym and lift some weights. Something. Like, it is insane, or her fans need to shut the hell up because it's getting freaking annoying. They trying to act like Angel, because uh, Angel was going up for the, okay, Caitlyn was going up to, to, to lay the ball up, okay, in the basket, and um, uh, Angel Reese is coming 
I, was it from behind or the side? I don't even know. To to block it. Like any normal person would do that's playing a game of basketball. She comes to block it and I guess accidentally. Um... Anyway, that's what she was trying to do. I don't know if she hit the girl or not. But anyway, it was, uh, I believe it was a, a flagrant foul. But it was a foul, okay? But people trying to act like uh, Angela, like she was, I said Angela. Angel Reese was trying to really hurt the girl. Like, y'all, it is getting literally out of control. Um, What is this? The content creator. Oh, yeah, everybody's talking about that daggone. <laughs> Nara Smith and that lady girl. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I just wanted to let y'all know. Um, okay, so somebody made a video by the name of Poppy and Muffin. And named four foods that um, dogs uh, will pass away from. Okay? Grapes is one of them. I don't know. Did y'all know that? Grapes. Okay? Um, they said it'll cause sudden acute kidney failure if you feed your dog grapes. So no grapes, people. No grapes. Do you feed your dog grapes? Let me know in the comments. Onions. We all know onions. Dogs can't eat onions. But if they do eat onions, it says it can cause um, hemolytic. Hemolytic anemia. Okay? So no onions. What else? Avocados, y'all. I did not know that uh, dogs could not have avocados. I didn't know that. It says it causes pancreatitis um, and heart failure. Like, oh my God. You would think that they could have avocados, but no. Um, chocolate. Y'all already know dogs can't have chocolate, but I know plenty of dogs in my lifetime that have eaten chocolate before. Causes cardiac arrest. So no chocolate either. So let me know. Did y'all know that um, all of those foods dogs could not eat? Let me know in the comments if y'all already knew that. Okay, what is this? Um, da, 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 da. It is an excellent. What is this? Girl, listen to this. Do y'all listen to this? Just when you. Ah, ladies and gentlemen, so a single mother was arrested because she allowed her 14-year-old child to babysit so she could work. I'm going to just say this now. I'm she got arrested because she had her 14-year-old child keeping, I guess, you know, the siblings, okay? Because she had to work and she probably ain't had nobody to watch them. Y'all, let me know in the comments if you've either let your child watch the kids at age 14 or um, you had to watch your siblings at that age. Let me know in the comments. I did not know that 14 was too young. Like, I don't think that 14 is, is too young. Now, it depends on if, like, if the kid, it depends on how old the kids are that this 14-year-old is watching. Okay, and for how long? Now, a 14-year-old should not be watching um, a newborn baby, okay? 14-year-olds should not be watching newborn babies. And I don't feel like 14-year-olds should be watching um, toddlers either. Like, they need to be, like, you know, 7, 8, 9, 10. You know what I'm saying? That type of age. But, girl, everybody would have been arrested back in the day. Like, literally everybody. <laughs> because, like, 14-year-olds were keeping kids back then. Like, they really were. And they still freaking do. But nobody's going to freaking talk about it and tell everybody. But, you know, what do y'all think? Do y'all think that that is wrong? Like, I don't, I don't. I really don't. But I did not know you can get arrested for it. I know that if you leave, you know, your ki your kids with a 14-year-old, like, and you go out of town and gone, you're gone for a week, that's, you know what I'm saying? But if you're going to work for a couple hours and come home, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I really don't. Mm -mm. 
What y'all think? I don't think there's anything wrong with it, especially if you don't have any daycare. Do y'all know how much daycare costs? Girl. And then what if it wasn't during the day when she works? What if it was at night when she works? You know? Um, I'm not going to say that it's not dangerous these days, you know what I'm saying, um, to leave the kids at home. But sometimes you have to do what you have to do if you don't have any other resources. So, anyway... Y'all tell me what y'all think. Um, and and uh, they said that the heat is coming, y'all. This guy made a video talking about, it's going to be 93 in the South. Girl, what? <laughs> Yay, in his piece. Like, I thought he was going to say, it's going to be 117 degrees. He's talking about, it's going to get up to 93. Girl, we are used to that. Are you kidding me? <laughs> 93 degrees is nothing. It was 93 degrees yesterday. I mean, it was burned up high. It felt like 100. But it was 93 degrees yesterday, you know, and we're used to the heat. So we don't have to get ready for it. Honestly, I don't feel that we need to get ready for the heat. Like, you know, Texans and people in the South are used to the heat. If you're mixed with um, black. Oh, my God. Okay, this is the, this the, the last thing, y'all. This conversation about mixed people not being black. When I tell y'all, it is, I'm so glad I'm not mixed because I would be going on a rampage, y'all. Like, really, like, how you gonna tell me what I am and how, you know what I'm saying? And, and what I feel that I am. I have a white parent, I have a black parent. And if you are like around your black side of the family, if you grew up around them and you know, you know the culture and all that, you black. You're black. And you know, don't let nobody tell you that you're not just because you're mixed. You can be mixed and be black. Especially if you look black. You know what I'm saying? And there the, and there's another conversation about um, you know, mixed people that look white, right? calling themselves black y'all let me know what do y'all think about that because i feel like if you know it doesn't matter if you are uh you know white and, and black or whatever like it just depends on like who you how do i say this who you um resonate with more i guess I, you know like I just feel like, why is that a conversation? Why is everybody worried about whether or not somebody's calling themselves black or not? Or black or white or whatever. And I think this is all started with the uh, Tyler situation. How Tyler didn't want to address um, her calling herself colored um, on the Breakfast Club or whatever. I feel like, first of all, Tyler is not from here. Okay? She's not from here. So... They do things different from where, where where she is. And I feel like people need to understand that. And then I feel like Tyler, if she's going to come and market herself over here in the United States, she needs to understand that we don't use that word. So when you're out here, maybe you shouldn't use that word. Use that when you get back to where you're from, where people are used to it. It offends black people to you know to you know to be called colored. We don't do that down here because of our past. And so and she needs to respect that if she wants to market her music to the Americans. What do y'all think y'all? Cuz people are like they're saying that um she's denying her black side and I've never heard her deny her black side honestly. I haven't she said what she was mixed with and and she said she has what what is it African yeah, African in her. She said that. She didn't deny that at all. So I don't understand what all of this is about. Um, you know, I think people are just mad because she calls herself colored and, and they don't like it. But people need to understand that we all come from different places. And she comes from a, a place where that's what they do. Period. So... Anyway, people need to mind their monkey ass business, girl. Okay, what is so this? Hold on, y'all. Um. <laughs> I don't want to do that one. Hold on. Uh, I think that's the Democrat calls the uh, most far reaching. Oh, y'all. So, Maryland in um, the Maryland governor, Wes Moore, 
is uh expected to issue a mass pardon for more than 175,000 marijuana convictions, calling the move a step to heal decades of social and economic injustice that hurt mostly black and brown people. So yay, okay, that sounds good to me. This is in Maryland. Sounds good, is it about far raining? Yeah, that, finally, like about the freak time because like marijuana is legal in a lot of places. And so, and you have all these people in jail just for marijuana. And they said that it's for the, um, I guess the, for the smaller amounts. Hold on, let me let y'all hear it. Is expected to issue a mass pardon today for more than 175,000 marijuana convictions. According to the Washington Post, the Democrat calls the blanket pardon the country's most far reaching. It will forgive low level marijuana possession Yo, charges man. for about 100,000 people. Governor okay. Moore calls it a step to heal decades of social and economic. Yes, crisis. and we love it. We love to hear it, don't y'all? I do. Love to hear it, honey. Anyway, so y'all, I'm going to get with y'all's comments on tomorrow. I got some things I got to do, baby. Y'all, those nachos were a 10 out of 10. So good. I'm so glad I made them, y'all. Because if I wouldn't have done them, we probably would have had the tacos. I didn't even want the tacos, though. But yeah, 10 out of 10 for the seafood Alfredo nachos. We either going to call them that or we going to call them shrimp and crab alfredo nachos we gonna see which one sounds better anyway make sure y'all follow me on instagram and tiktok instagram and tiktok okay follow me on the family vlog channel and i hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you did please do what thumbs up video subscribe if you haven't already for everyday videos everyday videos hey i will see you guys on tomorrow peace y'all come back now yeah bye y'all love y'all